have never had a direct link between investigations and security assistance. On the road, a familiar defense from a president under fire. Do you know what it means? It means we did zero. We did nothing wrong. Back in Washington, the drumbeat of impeachment wore on as Democrats contemplate several articles against President Donald Trump, including obstruction, abuse of power, and bribery. We have to combine as the evidence. It may be one article, it could be three articles, it could be four, but the evidence and then the judiciary matches that to the law. Before that happens, congressional hearings will lay out the case for impeachment. White House lawyers will have a chance to question witnesses. Experts will testify about whether Trump's conduct rises to that level. I believe the decision to impeach that you are making here is enormous. In 1998, law professor Susan Low Block testified at a similar hearing during Bill Clinton's impeachment. I think what we have from the Ukrainian transcript is um, pretty damning. Two decades later, she argues Trump's conduct is clear and damning. I would say it is an impeachable offense because I believe he has misused and abused his executive authority. The release of more closed-door testimony from White House officials builds that case. They say they were concerned the decision to withhold military aid to Ukraine violated federal law, adding two officials resigned in part because of the president's actions. A report in the New York Times goes further, alleging Trump only released the aid to Ukraine after learning the hold on funds was the subject of a whistleblower complaint. As all this is unfolding, there seems to be new trouble for Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. New reporting suggests that Giuliani was working to secure private business contracts with Ukrainian officials while he was working in Ukraine to dig up politically useful dirt for President Trump. Donna? All right, Jackson, in Washington, thanks.